This smartphone is recording the back of this pinhole camera, which is pointed directly at the sun during the April 8th, 2024 eclipse. We're going to start this video right around 1030. That's me. And I'm going to put that time on the clock. What you see at the top left is the real time image of what is shown on the camera. So this is what the camera that is pointed at the sun is looking at right now. Let's speed it up to make it a little more fun. And you can actually watch the transit slow down until totality. This is the most we're getting in San Diego. That's pretty good. It's about half covered, which is why it feels cooler than it ought to for such a sunny day. And while the uh, eventual eclipse runs out the rest of its way, we'll let that continue. I'm going to show you a couple neat things you can do to look at an eclipse's projected light on the ground safely. All you need are your own two hands. I'm going to arrange my hands like you see, so they're kind of overlapping each other. You want little squares to form on that shadow underneath your hand. They should be squares, not rectangles. I'm... This is a trick to do in itself, so kudos to you if you get anything better than me or, you know, good. And all you have to do is move that further and further away from the ground, and you'll start to see the image of the eclipse on the ground where those holes in your hand are, where your holes in your, uh, your two hands are. And this works better the further away you can get from where you're projecting it. So if you can get, you know, five or six feet off the ground when you raise your hands up, you can probably get a pretty good crescent shape. I'll show you another way. If you take a piece of cardboard and cut an irregular shaped hole in it, this is the best I could do, just cutting a short hole in something, move it away in the same manner from the ground. Right now I'm raising it about five feet up off the ground, and you're going to start to notice the shape of the eclipse. Again, it's crescent shaped, as you can see in the top, the very top, crescent shaped eclipse is reflecting and projecting on my circular shaped cutout and on the little spaces in my hand. Watch as the spaces in my hand get closer to the paper as I bring it back down. They're going to become more, well, they're different shapes as they get my hand changes, but these are fun ways you can have a good time by just projecting a shape of the eclipse onto the ground or a white piece of paper when an eclipse is occurring. It's always better to look at the light that gets projected onto the ground of an eclipse because it's just a lot safer. So, thank you for joining me. Let's let the eclipse run out. 